welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about powder SPFs and I do have three here that I like to share with all of you. Now one of them I have talked about a few times on my channel and I'm still using that one and it's by the brand called Color Science but since then I have incorporated two other ones in the mix and I like to review them for you and give you options because all of these SPFs today are at different price points. So before we get right into today's video if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. By doing so, you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video and I do upload videos every single week. So I have no more COVID hair. My hair is fresh and highlighted and I'm so happy about that. The last time that I had my hair done, I believe was February 5th. So it's been quite a while since I had my hair done last and I was getting used to my dark roots. I'm not gonna lie, I was really getting used to it. And then when I got my hair done and I looked in the mirror for the first time, I thought, wow, I feel like this is such a dramatic change. Even though it's not like I'm that much blonder, I do like the balayage look, so I do have a lot of my natural in between still and of course I'm brighter in the bang area but I feel like this is such a dramatic change from what I was used to with the dark roots but I'm really happy that I got my hair done I really am so we're gonna be talking about powder SPFs today and there are so many different ones on the market and some offer higher SPFs than others and they all range with different price points powder SPFs are really important to have in your skincare and your makeup routine no matter who you are but if you are somebody that wears makeup it's really important to invest in a powder SPF so that we can reapply our sunscreen throughout the day without a powder SPF you you really can't apply a liquid SPF on top of your makeup because let's face it our makeup's going to be destroyed and it's going to be ruined so a powder SPF is a really great option to have unless you can find a setting spray that has a built-in SPF in it but I personally like powder SPFs because I feel like they're really quick and easy to use and not only do they protect your skin but they can also act as a setting powder and something that you can reapply throughout the day to mattify your skin if you are somebody that gets oily in the t-zone or wherever else on your face so I'm gonna start with the most expensive SPF powder and I'm gonna work my way down to the least expensive and the first one that I'm gonna talk about today is the one that you've heard me talk about many times on my channel and it's the color science brand now I have done a video on this one in particular last year so if you'd like to see that video I will leave it below for you as well as up here and I also did a video on their under eye SPF as well which I will leave below for you also. Now this does have a titanium dioxide of 22.5% and a zinc oxide of 22.5%. This is cruelty free, reef safe and water resistant up to 80 minutes. Now I purchased this at $83 Canadian but I have seen some other online stores that offer this product a little bit cheaper but not by much. Now I really believe that this is worth the money. I honestly do. I love the formulation this doesn't feel heavy on the skin it feels nice and lightweight it doesn't get cakey and the more you apply it's not like this is going to cake up on your skin where your skin's gonna look gross it does not do this and I love how lightweight this is it doesn't mattify your skin too much which I really love because if you've been following me for quite some time you all know that I love to have a glowy dewy skin and this doesn't mattify my skin too much which I really appreciate now this also has more product in it than the other two that I'm going to share with you. So please keep that in mind for the price. This does have more product. This also has an SPF 50 and you also have four shades to pick from. So this one has 0.21 ounces of product which is 6 grams. There's no scent to this, there's no fragrance and it's so nice. I really like it. So I will show you up close what it looks like in the container here if it focuses. So this is the medium shade. The fair is a little bit lighter and then of course you have the two other deeper tones that you can pick from. Now this one that I have here is actually in the medium color. I actually probably could purchase the fair. Fair would be better in the winter time. This one is a little bit too dark for me in the winter, but right now when I have a tan going on, this is the perfect color. This is very soft and gentle on the skin and I love to apply this all over my skin. You can apply this down your neck, you can apply this to your chest if you'd like as well. You can apply this anywhere you want. 
Now, since I uploaded the video that I did on this last year, I have had a lot of comments saying that when they apply this to their face, they can't see it. They can't see the powder being applied to the face. Now, if you are buying the proper shade to your skin, you won't see this on your skin. You may see that your skin might be starting to mattify a little bit as you add powder onto your face, but you're actually not going to see the color unless you buy a darker shade, and that's when you're gonna see it. So if you are somebody that likes to bronze up a lot in the summer, then maybe choose the darker shade to bronze up your face. But if you want something to match your skin tone, then you're not going to see the color on your face. And you really don't want to see the color. You don't want to be packing on too much color on your skin, especially if you're going to be reapplying it throughout the day. It can look a little bit too much if you did that. But everybody has their own way of doing things. So I have the medium shade. Now what you want to do to activate the product is you want to put the product upside down. You want to bang the bottom a few times to allow the powder to go into the brush head. And then flip it back up, take the lid off, push this down, and then you can start reapplying it on your skin. Now if I do this, I'm sure you can see that the powder is flying in the air just above it. So you just start going in circular motions all over your face and you just do this throughout the day. And it's so quick and easy and I love it. So the other powder SPF that I have here is by Super Goop, and this is the Resetting Powder SPF 45. Now I'm really happy that I finally was able to get my hands on a Super Goop product because here in Canada, we were not able to ever order from the Super Goop website. For some reason, they never wanted to ship to Canada. And then of course, Sephora never carried it either up until about two months ago or maybe a month and a half ago, I would say. So I'm finally able to get my hands on the product and I'm so happy because I have heard so many wonderful things about Super Goop. So this is an SPF 45 and this has 4.25 grams of product. So the Color Science had 6 grams of product with an SPF 50. This one is an SPF 45 with 4.25 grams of product. Now this one does have a zinc oxide of 24.5%. Now this is a translucent powder. This only comes in one shade. I believe at least that's all I've seen online anyways so if you do have darker skin tones I'm not sure if you would be able to see this on your skin but it would be worth a try to see if it would work but at least with the color science you do have those options with the darker shades and this one retailed at $40 Canadian so it's like half the price of color science so same idea you want to put this upside down tap it a few times Put it back up and then of course the powder will then get inside the bristles and then you can rub it around your skin and as you can see the powder just comes right out and I really love the powder SPFs also because you can actually apply it to the tops of your hands which is really important to do so not only should you be treating your face and your body but your hands should be treated as well and on tops of your feet so with this powder I really love to apply it to the backs of my hands as well and I do this all the time and it makes a world of a difference it really does this also has ceramides in it which is going to help with your skin's barrier and this also has olive glycerides which is going to be a moisturizing ingredient and when I apply it to the backs of my hands and even to my face for that matter it does have a lightweight feel and it actually does feel nice and soft and nourishing on my hand right now it doesn't feel too powdery it's obviously not sticky it's a very comfortable feel and it's very very lightweight I would say that this is very comparable to the color science in the way that the powder feels feels on the skin. It's not heavy. It doesn't cake up either. The only thing I would say with this one is I do find that this one mats out your skin a little bit more than the Color Science. But other than that, I would say that this is very comparable to the Color Science other than this has a lower SPF, you're getting less product with this one, and you only have one color to pick from, which is a translucent color. This is also cruelty-free and vegan, and I believe this is another great option to have in your 
SPF collection. And the other powder SPF that I have here is by Derma E, and this is the Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. And this does have a 0.14 ounces of product, which is 4 grams. So you are getting less product with this one, and you are also getting a lower SPF number as well. And this is also the most affordable. I paid about $21 Canadian for this. Now the titanium dioxide is 17.29% and a zinc oxide of 20% and this is also 100% translucent powder but this powder is darker than the super goop translucent powder and I will show you what all of them look like in just a minute so you can see the different shades that I'm talking about but this one is also 100% vegan it's cruelty free it's reef safe as well and this is another great option to have so depending on what you're looking for in an SPF, whether you are looking for a high SPF number or maybe the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide percentages matter to you or a color range, then that's what's going to help you to determine what product would be best suited for you in this video. But same idea with this one, it has a really nice brush, it's very soft and gentle on the skin. This powder is also very lightweight as well and I love the feeling on the skin with this one also but I must say that I do like the color science and the super goop one a little more than this one only because this one really mats out my skin and that's not a bad thing it's just a personal preference of mine I do like to keep my skin dewy and glowy and this one just mats out my skin too much for my liking but if you do like a matte looking face then this is going to be an excellent powder to choose for that and I just love the feeling of it too it's very nourishing on the skin this one's not heavy this is also lightweight and this doesn't cake up on your skin throughout the day either which is very important so I like this one I do but I like the color science a little bit more because it has a higher SPF and I like the color range also with that product in particular but honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these products. These are all so good. So I will show you what all of them look like side by side. So as you can see, the color science is the darkest one being the medium shade. And then Super Goop and Derma E are both translucent, but you can tell that the Derma E is darker. But when I apply both of those to my skin, I honestly don't see a difference. They do apply as a translucent powder. But in the winter time, this one here is way too dark and I would have to drop down to the fair shade. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. I hope that I was able to give you guys some more options to choose from when it comes to a powder SPF. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I honestly really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.